Welcome back to another video. So we are going to transfer a CAD model from SOLIDWORKS to Blender. We're going to take a look at the file format. So I have over here a shredder assembly as we can see. And I also have Blender open over here. So this will be Blender 4.3. Now let's jump within SOLID. I will go to File, Save As. And within the file format, we have the possibility to save this as an STL file, which will be this one. So I will call this Shredder uh, Final Assembly. I will hit save. We can also within options change the resolution output. In this case, I, I will go with custom and I will hit save. Now see the number of uh, files in this case, the total number of triangles. I'm going to save that. If I will jump over here and I will import the STL from my desktop, we're going to see that in this case, each individual part from SOLIDWORKS has been saved as a single STL. So we have over here, for example, um, this one, or we have a, a washer, X washer. If I will import this, I have the scale set to one. I will see that by default nothing will, let's say, happen within the viewport. But we have the element over here added and selected. The main problem is that Blender uses meters as a default unit, while everything within SOLIDWORKS will use millimeters. So if I'm just going to zoom out within the Blender scene, we're going to see that the washer should appear. So we have it over here. If I would press comma on the keyboard, we're going to see the camera will go somewhere over here. So we have the origin, we have the washer over here. And um, as you can see, if I will zoom out, this will disappear at a certain point. This is because um, if I will go over here within view, the clipping plane is currently set to 1000 uh, meters. So if I will increase this, we're going to see that the washer will become visible. So the problem is that the washer is really large. So I will select it. I will press S in order to scale it down, and now I will, now I will type 0 0.001. Afterwards, I will hit Enter. Now the washer has been scaled down uh, with that factor, and again I will press on the comma button, and this will zoom in uh, towards that. And now the washer will be loaded at the true scale, as we can see over here. So by default, the cube um, within Blender has um, two meters. So if I will go over here and snap it, we're going to see that this is a default cube and the washer will be located over here on the inside. Now, the main problem is that everything over here was saved as an individual component. So we also had the possibility to use something else. So if I will go to file, save as as we can see over here, if I will go again for STL, this is the most basic file format within 3D. I can go within options, and as we can see over here, we don't have the possibility to, to change over here, so we can uh, change the unit type. But what I'm looking for is this, save all components of an assembly in a single file. So if I'm going to check this, if I will click OK, I will add uh, shutter assem final assembly one. I will hit save, blend, import, STL. On my desktop, I have a lot of um, so all those individual STLs that have been previously saved. I will just select um, by date modified, and we see over here uh, this has been today. So I should go. Um, Okay, so the model hasn't been saved over here. Okay, now, now um, initially so does process this, and now we have the single file. If I will hit yes, this has been saved, and I can go within Blender. If I will search by the date modified, I just need to go back and forth, and we have it over here. Shredder, Final Assembly 1, STL. I will hit import. Again, this has been loaded, but it has been uh, loaded at a large scale. So if I'm going to zoom out, we're going to see it over here. So all we have to do is press S to enable the scaling tool, type in 0 0.001, and we have it over here. 
if I will delete the default cube, we're gonna see the shredder will be loaded like this. The only disadvantage is that this has been loaded as a single mesh, so it's a little bit harder if, for example, I want to animate the gears uh, within the shredder. Because over here, if I will go within um, a section, we're gonna see that in this case, um, those inner uh, gears are not um, not modeled, but if we would, we would have those, it will be a little bit trickier to animate since everything is a single component. But we see over here within the shredder blaze that uh, those will look like that. Okay, so what is also uh, important is we see the orientation in SOLIDWORKS, Y axis going upwards, while um, over here we're gonna have the Z going up. So we still have to select this, rotate around the X axis, minus 90 degrees or 90 degrees in this case so r x 90 and now this will be standing and if i will uh, for example add a person over here we're gonna see that this will be at true scale so let me just search something that is uh, directly free within blender kit this will be the character and we have that um, at true scale. So keep in mind that this is not um, quite uh, high. So if I will measure this, we're gonna see the length will be only 440 millimeters. So this is positioned on a um, low height um, section over here made from profiles. So that, um, that support. Now, another file format that we can use is added within previous, uh, let's say, newer versions of SOLIDWORKS. So if you don't have the newer uh, 2024, you won't have access to extended reality file format. So this will be GLTF or extended reality binary, GLB file. I will save this as well over here. And uh, now within Blender uh, 4.3, there are some problems when we import GLB files. We see that SolidWorks is still saving those components. The main advantage is that we're going to have the possibility to work with them individually. They will all be loaded within the same file. But uh, now we need to wait a little bit to have those processed. So there are a total of 161 files. So they have been all processed. If I will go over here within Blender, and if I will go to File, Import, GLB, if I will search over here on my desktop for the GLB, we're going to see the file. So one thing that we notice is that the file size is quite low, so only 1.2 megabytes. If I'm going to import that, we're going to have over here some um, Python errors regarding the add-on. But if I will jump within Blender 4.0.2, if I will go to file import GLB uh, again on my desktop, so this will be the model, you're going to see that it will load over here. So the main advantage of using GLB file format, if I'm going to delete the default um, cube over here, we're going to see that for once we no longer need to orient the model. So within GLB file format, SOLID will know that the orientation will be different. So if I will go over here within options, we see that these are the XR um, export options. And with the default, we have this um, compression. Keep in mind that we can also export animation. And this is something really interesting if you want to transfer animation from SOLID to a VR or AR or XR application. But again, the main advantage is that I can select, for example, um, all of those. If I want to select an individual one, I can just select it over here. And um, let's see, if I'm going to select this face and I will extend the selection, it will not extend through everything. So in this case, this will be converted and join together. But if I will convert this to a mesh, we're going to see that now Blender will convert those. 
it will take a little bit of time to have those okay so we already have that and now if i will select this and i will like expand the selection again i don't have the possibility to select everything but i can do the following so i can do a selection like this and we have those faces selected at the bottom i can also select them over here at the top but we're gonna see that that will also take faces from the top one so i'll just press ctrl and plus to expand the selection and now i will press p and i will separate the selection that means i can now select this individual profile and um, work with that so as you can see that will work as intended and we can do the same over here so we have the um, the gears over here we have the individual um, blades over here for the shredder we have over here the bearing housing and so on so i hope you enjoy this kind of content if you want to transfer files from solidworks to blender or maybe you want to transfer them to a vr application keep in mind that you can use extended reality binary file so i hope you enjoy this kind of content i will position a similar video on the left side and i will also add a subscribe button to the right that's it thanks for watching